Alright, so we're booting into recovery. This is on twerp. This is the LG G2. So if you're using twerp, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go do a backup. And again, in your case, when you're first going to do EFS or cache, just back it all up. I'm not going to worry about that because I already have an EFS backup. Let that do its thing, so it takes some time. As you can see, I wasn't kidding, it's still going. Um, but this is a pretty good backup. This is a backup from the, uh, the uh, uh, an LG based ROM, an LG Flex based ROM. It's done, so I'm going to swipe to unlock because, of course, the screen turned off. Alright. <clears throat> Go back. Back again. Now I'm actually going to restore from a backup. I'm going to restore my Omni ROM. This is how easy it is. And of course, you just saw the backup that I just made. Um, the bottom one was what I just created. Uh, so, I mean, that's backing up and restoring made pretty darn easy. But this takes some time, too. Okay, so it should be. So we're right here. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the easier part, it's restoring the system. And the system, uh, in this case for an Omni-ROM, is, uh, uh, I don't know, somewhere around 200 megs. So there was more data than there was system. Updating partition details, we should be done here in a second. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and reboot this. What I'm actually doing here is I'm getting ready to install an update for OmniROM. I just happened to have had an old version that I had recently used and I had backed up. And so it didn't make sense for me, uh, because there wasn't significant changes in the build, for me to uh, install fresh and have to redo all my applications, etc. And, um, and this is just so much easier. So uh, I'll let that boot up. and. I like the very first time you install it because it's uh, it restored the uh, Dalek partition, the cache partition is going to come right up. I'm going to let it come up. And then I believe this one doesn't have the menu, so I think I use, yeah, I use Quick Boot. I'm going to go back into Recovery. Okay. Simply going to come over here to wipe, advanced wipe. All I want to do is I want to wipe the Dalvik. I'm going to wipe the cache. If I was doing a clean install from scratch, I did the system and the data, but never the internal storage. Uh, on your phone, you might have a th another option because you have an external memory card. I'm going to do that. This is dirty flashing. Okay, but this is dirty flashing and twerp. Go back, go back, go back. I'm going to hit install. There's the file. Omni, add another zip, flash my gaps. Alright. Let that go through and do its thing. <clears throat> it won't take very long. You see a lot of these ROM guys, they put their own little ASCII art in there. Uh, there's the gaps, I'll go through. That'll install. <clears throat> Again, I use the modular mini. It doesn't copy over the camera, it doesn't copy over the text messaging program. Um, so you kind of give them an option. There we go. And then simply reboot the system. And that's it. That's dirty flashing an update from a restore or just restoring a ROM. So I've actually I should do a couple things in this one using Twerp.